Aloha everyone, this is Max with Asian Geek Squad and today we are unboxing the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. Before the unboxing, I have two quick announcements. In case you don't want to listen to these announcements, there's a little timer here that shows when the unboxing starts. If you want the US version of this phone, make sure you buy the US model. That's sm 546 ui Now, the reason I say that is because there are a couple of models already on sale on Amazon. There's different colors, there's higher there's different configurations and those have different model numbers. The biggest concern with that is if you buy one of those models and something goes wrong, those might not be covered by Samsung US warranty. If you live in the US and you want the US model, I'll link in the description below directly for Samsung and Best Buy who only sell known US variants. And the other minor announcement, don't forget to follow me on Facebook. That is where I post pictures from these phones that I review. All right, that's it for announcements. Let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll also be reviewing all the official Samsung cases for the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. The A54 comes with a quick start guide, comes with a SIM tray ejector, and a USB-C to USB-C charging cable. Now let's go ahead and check out the phone itself. And here it is, the Violet Samsung Galaxy A54. Hmm, looks a little bit blue to me. Let me get some purple items. Just to compare the color of the items, we have the Oppo Find N2 Flip. We have the purple silicone cover for the Galaxy S23. We have the S23 Ultra, Instax Mini 12, and the Galaxy Buds 2 in lilac purple. In outdoor lighting, such as the clip we used on the intro, it does look more violet. This definitely looks blue to me. All right, let's move on. This retails for $449. Under the hood, we have an Exynos 1380, and it comes with 6 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. Let's go ahead and talk about this display. So this is a 6.4 inch Full HD AMOLED display, 1080 by 2340. 120 hertz refresh rate so really awesome on the a series this display can get really bright up to a thousand nits so we'll see if that works outside here in the hawaiian sun since we're looking here at the front let's go ahead and just look at that camera that is a 32 megapixel front camera and here on the back starting at the top that is a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera this is a 50 megapixel main camera, same as the Galaxy S23 and S23 Plus. And the bottom camera is a five megapixel macro camera. And the cool thing about this is it has a 5,000 milliamp battery, the same as the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. But this caps out at 25 watt fast charging. And make sure you buy a fast charging brick because it's not included in the box. From first impressions, this feels really great in the hand. Now the build is a lot lighter, but I also like the build. Let's take a look around. Here on the side, we have the volume up and down rocker and the power button. I like the finish and the color here. Feels like an aluminum frame. Here in the top, that is your SIM tray. Nothing here on the side. And here on the bottom, you have your charging port and your speakers. One downgrade from the S series is this has a IP67 rating. It can survive one feet of water for up to 30 minutes maximum. For the dimensions, this is 76.7 millimeters, 158.2 millimeters tall, a thin smartphone here at 8.2 millimeters, and only weighs 202 grams. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. I'm looking forward to what this phone can do, specifically these cameras. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to leave us a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Aloha.